a little color to, you know, Madonna, some of the names. Give a little backstory on each, if you don't mind. Yeah, so uh, Matthew Madonna, who is most recently an acting boss of the Lucchese family. Um, and, and I didn't realize this till I really started doing the research. He's pretty much spent most of his career in jail. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was uh, a major heroin supplier and tied in with the Purple Gang in the early yeah. 70s. He was one of the major suppliers for Nicky Barnes. Yep. Uh, he gets arrested, gets sentenced to like 30 years in prison in the late 70s. Yep. Uh, then he gets out in the 90s and immediately gets made in the Lucchese family and kind of quickly rises up the ranks and, and becomes acting boss. Uh, Danny Leo, who... Hey, really, um, quick, really quick, Scott. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. In your, your research... And I don't think I ever asked John Panisi this, but in your research, did did Maddie kind of hang up the drugs, or do we, or there's some research or some um, proof that he may still have still was involved? I, I didn't see any evidence that there was involvement when he got back out. Got it. So, okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, and then Danny Leo, uh, he starts showing up at, like in the late '70s, tied in with the Purple Gang. Yeah. Uh, he get, he's questioned in a number of murders and called a Purple Gang member in the newspaper and in some uh, law enforcement reports. Then he shows up again, um, becomes a made guy in the in the uh, Genovese family, becomes yes. a member of the acting ruling panel, becomes an acting boss of the Genovese family. Um, yeah, pretty high up. <laughs> pretty high up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then yeah, administration guys right there. And then obviously Mancuso. Yeah, Mikey Mancuso, who again starts showing up in the late 70s as part of the Purple Gang. It's named in these reports. And then now, most recently, it was just in a paper not too long ago. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, So is the, you know, a boss of the Bonanno family. So that's pretty good for this small gang to have such high level members and, and then there were others like angelo prisco who is a very powerful uh yeah. capo in the genovese family jersey guy i think right he was in jersey i think angelo he was but he actually lived in yonkers uh but okay. he was uh, in charge of a jersey crew yeah uh, and there were a few other guys like uh, frank skinny frank salerno who is who's yeah. still around he was in with the lucases um and and a couple others over the years and, and then there were probably a bunch that would have been made had they not been killed. <laughs> so, oh, so now it brings us to very recent, and I won't give too much away, but we can't talk about the Purple Gang and not talk about the Michael Melda shit. But before no. we before we get to that, right? Sure. Yep. His brother supposedly bodied like fifty people. Tell us a little bit about his brother, and then let's talk about the man because the the, the Melda thing is like crazy. But anyway, uh, let's first talk about the brother first. Yeah. So, well, the Meldish brothers, Joe. Michael. Yeah. Um, I, I first come across them in, in my research about 1974. They're questioned. Actually, excuse me, a little bit earlier than that. They're arrested with a bunch of Purple Gang guys outside of a, of a restaurant in uh, the Beef East restaurant in, on the Upper East Side in Manhattan. They get into a fight with cops. One of them bites a cop's finger and they're shooting guns in the air. It's just this crazy scene. Uh, and the Meldishes are, are part of that crew that arrested. Then they start showing up in these cases, like uh, beating up guys in Rockland County uh, for the Genovese family. Uh, they're questioned in a number of murders of Purple Gang members and associates in the early 70s over drug deals. Uh, and then Joey Meldish finally uh, gets arrested a few times, but gets arrested in the late 90s for a murder in a Bronx bar. And it's sentence uh, to life in prison for it. And, you know, when you read the newspaper accounts, you read some of the accounts at the time, that, then you see these body counts. Well, he killed yeah. 50 guys. He killed 100 guys. I, I personally didn't find that many. There very well may be others that, you know, are not known. It. That's one of the things when you're doing research, 